curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Havelok, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away. I stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Mont. Anybody in there? Damn. Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Now my mum's beard. Get yourself together, lad. 
You there, outside the door. Geralt, the right. Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beast from the deck ate some of my lad, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that. As dangerous litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. I got a demon. I got a to do that now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not proud of either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. I will gas up a bit. This Ivo, where do I look? I get infected to explore the cave to the east. Try to knock it out his head. Literally, bugger with his body. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeated. Said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? Wait, in search of a ship that's said to be your death. Ferenc is there. Andy, I think I might pick it up. You can see what it All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. to see you I talked to your friends come down right I'm coming you lucky devil you you know I have one regret that oh, ah, ah. dead damn
Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning the... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. Stronger than me, I'm so... You're a naughty kitty, aren't you? Uh, all right, I'm up. If you're a wee bit drowsy. Up. I'm all right. <sighs> that's, that's stronger than me, I'm so
missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. I don't, I don't want to go to school. Stronger than me, I'm so, so... Wake up. Yeah, uh, I'm awake. Why, why do wake? Come on, keep moving. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not brought you your friend. I do like hearing them. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> That's bad. Stand back. I'm opening the door. Gosh, bad. Ha, you seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddle. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snort. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. Step aside. She's cold. Spirits left her. Nothing we can do. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh, creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours is healed beautifully, though. Abelach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalar? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalar? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. At times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell headfirst and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crows. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting with me. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the world hunt down on me. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how'd you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. 
one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of nugget bread, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix a phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damn Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Doodoo. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Galmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident. I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten. The hunt's attack, my flight, and then dreams, just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately, pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. We're on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. 